Les danseurs de Keys sous pression car trop d'Européennes les réclament. Les femmes en rude compétition, enragées, énervées car elles doivent inviter des hommes à danser. Et pourquoi certains dansent avec des lunettes de soleil We're featuring a sports personality from Cameroon and we're showing that dance can be the next big thing for you and for your happiness. But first things first, here is Christophe Nongmo, whose mother tongue is Bameleke and who will be kind enough to speak some English with us today. Christophe, can you tell me why or tell us why you're well known in your country? I think I'm well known in my country because of my career as a sport athlete and particularly in Taekwondo. Yes, and you're a champion, I know. He doesn't want to say that he's a gold medal in Taekwondo. And, <laughs> and uh, what do you do with this talent? Uh, for this talent, uh, I have to say first that I have followed also on academic uh, career on, on sport management and pedagogy mm -hmm. and I, I do use uh, sport for promoting peace and help develop a human being. Yes. Now like me, Christophe, you're a music lover and can you tell us about a song that played an important role in your life? And first of all, I, we're going to play it where he's not going to say, and you at home try and recognize it. It's a famous one. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. It should be Adela. Yes, that's someone right. Someone like you. Yes, me. yeah. So why this song? What's the story behind it? The story behind this, the story behind uh, this song is, I remember that uh, that was a song that used to work me up when I was uh, student at the monastery, I will say it monastery, at the International Olympic Academy. Yes. He used to work me up every morning at six o'clock. Yeah, monastery life for Christophe. Anyway, thank you for sharing the story and perhaps you at home can think of what song makes you happy too. As you know, my thing is spreading the joy of dance across culture. Uh, you and I, Christophe, actually met on a Kizomba dance floor. I noticed the way you were dancing with ease and smiling and with a little something that was different and that was interesting. Um, you knew what you were doing but you were not showing off with it. You were really pretty relaxed. I invited you. Can you explain why in America and in Europe women often have to invite men for dancing? Um. Probably because uh, there might be much more women on dance floor in Europe and in the USA. Yes, many more. That's the truth. And how do you feel when you arrive and all these ladies are sitting and waiting? Uh, it might be somehow embarrassing to see so many women around sitting and you can invite only one because you can dance with only one at, at time. Yes, you can dance with only one at a time, it's embarrassing. But as always, this phenomenon, like all others, can be seen from their positive or negative side. The negative side is for all these ladies to sit, and wait, be frustrated, um, sad even sometimes. And as a man, as a good dancer, you're constantly being asked and requested to provide for ladies. And sometimes you have the sad task of saying, no, I can't uh, dance anymore. But the plus side, of course, well, guys, it's like going to the supermarket with a super big wallet. You can take anything you like uh, from this never ending source. And it could drive you crazy. Anyway, what, what can you do if you want to share this, if you want to be part of this and make ladies happy? What do you need? You need a sense of beat, a love and a feel for music, and you need to go to classes, more and more classes. 
And what's the reward? Well, happiness. Definitely more happiness in your life. Having fun. Yeah, that's right. Having fun. It's a tool, like a therapeutic tool to help you put away the, all the problems that we all have in life. Yeah, and that is something that people in Africa are very Definitely. good, very Definitely. good at doing. Yes, yes. So, Christopher and I were inspired to do a little dance uh, sketch to show this situation. It's quite fun, but it also uh, features um, some easy steps that maybe you can learn doing. And it also features a strange phenomena that I've observed in some people. Um, some people wear sunglasses inside when there's no sun and when they're supposed to be in a communication act. To me, this is incredible. If you know why some people do that, write it in the comments. Let me know. So, Christoph, how do you say I love you in Bamekele? Bamekele. Bamekele. Mekongu. 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 Yes, all right, guys. Enjoy. This is for you. S'il vous plaît, faites-nous savoir que ce type de vidéo vous inspire et vous fait du bien avec un pouce bleu, un commentaire et en partageant avec vos amis. Et ce n'est pas tout, vous trouverez des tas d'autres joyaux sur le bien-être en explorant nos sections et nos playlists. Il y a aussi des liens utiles dans la description. Merci et à bientôt sur Transtendance.